Hi, welcome to Alliance Redwoods Camp at Home video series. I'm Julia, and today we're going to be doing mushroom dissections. Some materials you'll want, uh, a plate, I used a paper plate in my video, maybe a, a plastic knife or a butter knife, you don't need anything sharp, and you'll need a mushroom. I used a mushroom from a grocery store, but pretty much any mushroom is fine as long as you wash your hands afterwards. Let's get started. In this step, we're going to dissect some mushrooms. Um, these first two we're not going to dissect. Uh, they're ones I found in the forest. We've got this kind of like brownish cap, reddish on the bottom. And then we also found this yellowish mushroom growing on a tree trunk. We've got some cool gills on the underside. We're gonna see if we can harvest any spores from these mushrooms, even though they are a little bit older. I can tell that because they're caps aren't as robust anymore. They're starting to wilt and get softer. The one we are going to dissect is a portobello mushroom from the grocery store. We have lots of really big mushrooms here, but they're all done growing for the season, and I wanted a big mushroom to be able to show all its different parts. Now that we've broken the mushroom up a little bit, we can see some of its basic parts. The, what we would call a stem on a plant, you can also call a stalk, uh, but either of those two words are acceptable, uh, is the part that holds the mushroom up off the ground. The cap is the meaty part. Mushrooms are usually going to have gills. Um, they, may, they may also have pores, which would look like little polka dots on the bottom of the mushroom and those release spores so the mushroom can reproduce. So those are the basic parts. Um, some parts we didn't see in this portobello mushroom. You can see this brown mushroom right here um, has a bump at the top, and that's called an umbo. None of the mushrooms had the vulva or annulus left, um, and that would be kind of a flaky part stuck at the top and the bottom of the mushroom from when it first sprouted out of the ground. We'll see that in the diagram right here. That's all for today. We learned how to dissect a mushroom and the basic parts that we might identify when we see mushrooms out in the wild or even at the grocery store. Stay tuned next week for how to diagram a mushroom and a little bit about mushroom biology.